But the thing is, you've had the whole day to practice, and I just woke up like 10 minutes ago, so don't don't expect miracles, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is the first time I've loaded up the game. Oh, okay, so we're both fresh. I'm just a little scared, man. There's no running on this map. <laughs> I see your fire. I know. Panic. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Oh, wow, good game, nice. good game. Okay, so we're both fresh. So as the year comes to a close, you, my friend, have come to the right place to see which gaming mice deserve our recommendation. And these have gone through insane flicks, unintentional rage moments, but best of all, delivers that satisfying feeling of being number one on the scoreboard. Oh. You're like, Revenge. gonna get a kill? Now I trust my aim, you should probably too, but you know what's better for you are two opinions. So in this video we have a special FPS guest, Zai, from Rocket Jump Ninja, whom I consider an expert in gaming mice because of this. So yeah, he's really good and you should take his recommendations for real. Let's begin right after this. What would you like? So I'm looking for a gaming headset with a bit of everything, but not overkill. Something that folds on your neck. Sure. How about the light frame without excessive clamping force? Yes, yes, yes. Comfortable ear cushions with proper internal padding. Excellent, I will take The cable and the microphone are removable. Fine, fine, this is the one. Multi-platform compatibility with virtual surround sound dongle available. Can I just take one? And the sound quality you'll be satisfied with. So the new Cooler Master MH751 and 752 are here to make your gaming experience. All right, so my first recommendation goes to my favorite mouse of all, the SteelSeries Rival 310. It is over a year old, but this is my favorite wired mouse to date, with a light, non-braided cable, bungee is always recommended though, an incredible sensor of course, fantastic button layout and feel, especially that low profile fin to change the CPI, and they've made this uh, button larger on the Rival 600 series, I don't really like Hello. that. Nice. The side grips have enough friction, and most importantly, it's only 88 grams, oh, nice. with the most comfortable shape for my hand size, and the flick on top Top is the price. You can pick this up for around 55 bucks to $60 and it is an absolute steal. If you want to improve your aim and stick around with something for a while, the Rival 310 is highly recommended. And you can check out full reviews of all the mice we were talking about today in the description below, plus pricing and availability. My second mouse of choice is the latest from Logitech, the G Pro Wireless. This is the mouse if you want to cut the cord for your serious gaming needs. We've got the latest and greatest sensor in there that is super power efficient yet delivers Ooh, outstanding performance we no longer have to be skeptical of using you know, wireless in a professional setting. And best of all, it is super light at only 80 grams. And for a wireless mouse, that is incredible. The gaming experience with this thing is uh, you know, very satisfying. The scroll wheel is nice, primary clicks are nice. You can store away the USB receiver inside the mouse. And the battery for me lasts for about a week, so I never have to worry. I find the ambidextrous shape comfy for my hybrid grip. Plus you can add or swap side browser buttons for left or right hand use. And the only caveat is the price since this is the best wireless mouse that I've used to date. But not to worry, my third mouse recommendation for 2018 goes out to the Logitech G305 that is also wireless and basically has the same performance as the G Pro wireless, slightly, you know, uh, older sensor with a smaller shape that for my hand is slightly better. And the clutch on top is the price at around 50 bucks. Basically, it has the same shape as the original G Pro wired mouse that I love. It is a bit heavier though at 95 grams because of the AA battery, but weight can be reduced if using a lithium battery, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and because there are no lights, it will last for over 200 hours of continuous operation, so battery life is excellent. And the USB receiver can also be stashed away inside the body. And for real, this feels like using a wired mouse without any performance compromises, well, of course, it is wireless. But now let's hear what Zai has to say. All great choices, I could probably say the same, but for the sake of variety, I'm going to say three different ones. First, the Final Mouse Air 58. It's not available right now, but I want to point out why it's so popular. The shape is amazing, it has a top optical sensor, and they've managed to get a large mouse down to about 58 grams. A normal mouse this size would be about 100 grams. Some people do like the extra weight in their mice, but a lot of competitive players are finding they can aim much better with lighter mice. So the A58 is extremely popular, we're just waiting on stock, and for other mice to get even lighter. Next is my new personal favorite, the Zowie S series, which should be available in December 2018. Stay tuned for updates, it's a mouse worth keeping an eye on. 
I was using the FK2 for years, and the S2 is similar, but a bit shorter and a bit taller. Really good changes to the point I can feel more confident aiming, and I already aim near my best with the FK2, so that's saying something. And the third, the Logitech G403, still one of my favourites and still a top mouse, even two years after its release. I'm sure everyone already knows about that one though. All three mice basically have the same top optical sensor, it's just a matter of personal preference. If you ever watch my channel, I recommend finding a mouse 60% of your hand measurements. Smaller mice seem easier to aim, but go too small and you might get cramps in your hand. Have to find the balance. So any one of these mice could be the top pick for you. And I have to give a shout out to the Razer Mumble Wireless 2018. This one surprised me. I really wasn't expecting it to be so good, but at about 105 grams, it's not too heavy, and the shape is one of the best for hands over 8 inches by 4 inches. And the wireless performance is like wired. Speaking of wireless, I really have to talk up your picks. The Logitech G Pro Wireless is the number one mouse on my list at the moment, and the Logitech G305 is my number six. They are absolutely amazing mice, highly recommended, but it really depends on your hand size and what you want. So even though the G Pro Wireless is my number one, I use the mouse listed at number three. If the G Pro Wireless was my recommended size, I would use that without question. There really are so many good choices at the moment. Even the Rival 310 is one of my favorites. You just have to find what's right for you. Come on, where's the peak? Oh, Very nice. Impressive. Ten flags left. What? Oh, because you were protected. Yeah, and vulnerability. So I really want that final mouse now. Thanks, Zai. But my honorable recommendation goes out to the slightly older Zoe FK1. It is still in my drawer for a reason because it fits my grip so well. And I love the driverless cycle between the four DPI levels at the bottom approach. And I feel like my aim is perfect every time I use it. And it sells for around 60 bucks. And it is definitely worth it. And so to recap, here's a full list of gaming mice we recommend with excellent wired and wireless options in there, plus attractive price points for many. They'll all be linked in the description below, so check them out. And I really want to thank Zai from Rocket Jump Ninja for his expertise and recommendations for best mice uh, to buy Very in 2018. Nice. And so make sure to subscribe to his channel for more FPS goodness. You're welcome, and thanks for having me on. I have a video explaining how to choose the right mouse. You can check the description for the link to that. So I hope that helps. Good luck. All right, guys, so that is it from us. Hopefully these recommendations are helpful wow. for you to decide on maybe getting a new mouse so you can improve your aim and become a better you know, player overall. But uh, let me know Very which nice. mouse you're rocking now and potentially upgrade to later on. I'm Dimitri, make sure to subscribe to Zai and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video and happy gaming. Good luck with the aim, make sure it's good. Stay on top of the boards, people, stay on top of the boards. Oh my god, I'm winning. I'm 4-3. Let me just take this you opportunity are. to uh screenshot this. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Never play me again. It's been great. See you later.